All right. We're going to be changing the sight glass on this uh, steam boiler. Those little rods are just little protectors. They come right out. But as you can see, there is a little bit of a leak. These steam boilers have a pressure. And um, every once in a while, you got to service this thing. And this is the first time that I've ever done this. So hopefully some of these tips um, will be from maybe some people who want to uh, learn how to do this for the first time. The pros will probably some, tell me something I did wrong. But uh, anyhow, take a look at that gauge on the left-hand side. See how it's not quite at zero? Well, there was some dirty water and a little bit of sludge in here. And um, I completely drained this system and got that back down to zero. Um, and one of the problems, I think, is that this sight glass uh, was leaking. Um, it's kind of an interesting little process. So, you know, this the function that this sight glass does is it shows you exactly where the water line is in the, uh, in the boiler without having to, you know, take a peek in there, obviously, because it's cast iron and stuff. So you can see on the boiler itself, on the gray boiler, there's a little line back there with the arrow that says kind of where the water line should be. And that's for safety's sake, you know, so you don't overfire the boiler. Or if you don't have too much water in there, too, because you can run into like overpressured um, problems and get knock and stuff like that in there, I think. So uh, changing out this sight glass is um, at first a little. Um, I don't know, scary, daunting, whatever, concerning. Uh, but in the end, it really didn't turn out to be that big of a deal. So what you want to do for sure is you want to close off the water on the bottom. Uh, make sure that the you know the boiler's off, there's no pressure, that kind of thing in there. There actually is no pressure. That gauge was just kind of stuck a little bit because of uh, some sediment and stuff in there. So there, this has been, you know off and cool and sitting for a number of hours before I, I did any of this but what you do is after doing all those precautions which should be common sense you um, tighten that bottom valve for sure if you can you can also tighten the top one but um, I had some difficulty doing that my little uh, black uh, hand valve there uh, actually broke it's just plastic so fortunately the bottom one was fine you tighten the bottom one to make sure the water doesn't keep on flowing when you uh, disassemble the sight glass and you can see that you know this tube is just glass this one happens to be 5 8 inch outside diameter and these are specially made for boilers so if you do do this yourself make sure you get you know sight glasses that are made four steam boilers okay you don't want to go out and just get some you know scientific you know piece of glass or whatever that's not designed for this they're, they're designed to take the heat and the pressure um and you can i just got this on amazon uh and i just did a measurement um and they come extra length so the length is longer and you got to cut it and that's kind of the part where it gets like a little hairy so uh you got to get the glass itself and you just get the diameter of the glass you want so you take a measurement of it and then you get this specialty little glass cutter which again i just got off of amazon didn't cost that much i think i don't know 10 15 bucks something like that this is my first attempt uh, right here and you take this glass cutter and you uh, put it to the length that you want and you just do a little score on here now what you'll notice when you're cutting these things to length they can go actually they float inside the two valves so where i took it out in the beginning you'll notice that there's there's a little bit of play and the reason is is that you can put the glass up and then back down in there and then seal it tight so you don't want to make it the complete full length or you won't be able to get the glass into the two valves and to uh, put it into place so this is my first attempt put on my gloves just to make sure uh, and what you do is you basically just score it and then you snap it i'm not happy with this uh, you can see that there was a little bit of an edge to it on the one side 
So what I did is I bought a three pack, um, just knowing that I was a novice, and I'm gonna give it another shot here. So this second attempt at cutting the glass is I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure on there, and I think you might actually hear the glass uh, cutter like scoring, uh, cutting a little bit deeper into the sight glass itself. So let's, I'll just be quiet here for a second so you can hear it. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it again uh, and using the old sight glass um, as a reference. Listen to this. Okay, so you can clearly hear that better than the first time. And just gonna get my gloves back on, put your fingers right at that line where you scored it on either side, your thumbs, and uh, just do one quick pressure. Don't do it slow. Here we go. There we go. That's it. That, it's as simple as that. Just making sure getting the little burrs off of there. This is a much cleaner one. This is the one I'm going with. And again, just checking it to length. I probably could have reused the that sight glass right there. But I did also order the nuts and the washers. Uh, which are right here. Again, mine's 5 8 so I ordered 5 8 washers and nuts. Um, and they're just like a pressure fitting on there. So I had never done this before. I wanted to get all my supplies ahead of time and take it down into the basement because uh, this is the winter right now, and I just wanted to make sure that I would be, you know, wouldn't be out of heat or something. Um, but it's pretty simple. You just, you know, put the washer on. Uh, the one side and then the nut with a little uh, metal washer which is inside and then when you get it up onto the uh, the valves you just you know tighten it up and really you don't need a lot of pressure when you're tightening this thing you just want to kind of do it with your fingers you can at the end if you want you know tighten it a little bit more uh, with a wrench or something but I didn't need to and it's been working fine ever since this is this was done about uh, three four weeks ago so and, and it's been working great ever since but you want to get the metal uh, or the brass I believe metal washers on there the nuts and then put on the uh, I think these are just rubber uh, washers on there and you want to bring them down a little bit more because you got to fit it up and then in the valves and you'll see when we get closer what I'm talking about this is a little bit too much here so I'll have to readjust it when I get over there again first time so I didn't know um, but it actually slides up or down into the valve holes there and then you got to like realign it so you see where I'm putting my finger there's some play in there but you don't want to put it all the way up and down either because that's how you turn on and off the system so you don't want to put the glass all the way down it could interfere with the turn off valve so you know you just kind of want to get it in there so it's a nice balance of where it, it needs to go and, and you'll see where it needs to go and you can actually use the old sight glass as a reference as well so again that bottom valve if I unscrewed you know that bottom valve water would start you know burbling out of there um, but the top one because the water it shut off you see how it goes up it went up and then it goes down so you just gotta you just gotta adjust it to where it needs to go so you kind of like I don't know for the lack of a better word center it in there but as I was saying you don't necessarily have to have that top valve turned off um, if I believe the professionals can change a sight glass when it's on, when the boiler is on. And that's when you would need that top valve to be 
off. I, uh, out of an abundance of caution, just being a, a novice, decided to make sure, <laughs> out of an abundance, abundance of caution, to make sure this thing is completely off. But, see, you're just kind of putting it up in there, and that gives you enough room to swing the glass into the bottom opening of the bottom valve. You know, because there's no flexibility in glass at all. So, I mean, that's kind of common sense, but that's the reason that you cut this glass to the length that you do cut it to. And then literally I'm just hand tightening this thing on the bottom and then just kind of inching up the rubber washer up to the top there. Now, my boiler happened to be a 5 8 inch uh, glass, so I got everything for 5 8 and I just went down there with a the measuring tape and kind of eyeballed it and I lucked out. But if it wasn't, I was just going to return everything and it just had a small leak, which was annoying, but it was still operational. So yours might be like a half inch diameter or whatever, and your length is going to be, you know, different as well. I mean, maybe you'll have a shorter length or a longer length, whatever, and that's where you would need the cutter to come in. So watch. See? It's as simple as that. Now this thing, after running it for a little while, got really dirty. There must have been some sediment or something somewhere. Um, so I completely flushed all of this water out of there. And that had the side benefit of reducing some knock in the system uh, and also of making the system um, you know, uh, heat up faster. So these, these little, uh, pins there or rods, those are just there for safety's sake. Um, and they just literally just pull out. They're, they're not screwed in or anything. They're just there to protect the glass. But you see how that gauge on the left-hand side, it actually started off kind of like at around, I don't know, two. Um, it didn't go all the way down to zero. I completely flush the system and it is operational again. Sometimes in that little pigtail to the left of the gauge, you can get some junk in there and what as well. So, you know, make sure that you guys flush your systems every once in a while to, you know, get that junk out of there. Here's a little time lapse of the water level, uh, building up pressure and using it for the first time. And it's as simple as that. Pretty easy. So what I did is I bought three sight glasses um, just in case I made a mistake. And also I made care to um, keep the original sight glass as well so I could reuse it. So hope this helps. Like and subscribe. Hope you guys like the videos. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and Happy Holidays to everybody. Take care.